As you can see, I started off on the right side of my face. Now I'm moving on to the left side. And I'm going to start off at the back of my brow. The back and the bottom, excuse me. And just outline that a bit and fill it in. And I found out doing it this way, it looks more natural to me. I can honestly leave it like this. But of course, I'm being a little extra. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that line at the top. Do some more filling in and of course, fix the front end of it. All I really had to do was outline, start it from the back and fill it in. And don't worry about if you mess up, you can simply do what I did and just wipe it off. You can take a Q-tip to wipe it off or you can just wait to the end and use your concealer. It's all up to you. And then you take your spoolie and just brush those hairs up and make the product blend out. Also, if you need more product, add more product. But for the most part, you really don't have to add more. You just use whatever is left over on your brush. And you take whatever concealer of your choice to make sure that those lines are nice and crisp. Normally I start at the bottom, but now I'm starting at the top, making sure that my lines are straight as possible. My main focus point is that arch and make sure I don't go over and make sure that it's not like too pointy. I have a natural arch, so it's always going to be there. Now I take my finger and I'm going to blend that out a little bit. And starting at the bottom, I'm starting at that arch and I'm making sure that I get as close as possible without going over as well and making sure that that back line is super sharp. And then I go towards the front. And again, your brows are supposed to be sisters, not twins, but I do like mine to be as close to looking like twins as possible. You don't want them to look like step cousins. And don't worry if you took a little too much off the end, just do what I did and add a little more product. Now I'm just taking my Glam Glow Water Burst Moisturizer just to moisturize my face. And you can use whatever moisturizer that you want. You can use how many you want, it's totally up to you. For this particular video, I used three, but the other ones I did off camera. And now I'm going in with my foundation And a little go a long way. I kind of used a little bit too much, but that's okay. And I'm just taking this foundation brush to blend everything out. Now, just take a little bit of concealer just to get some type of little highlight under your eyes and take your foundation brush to blend that out. You can take a foundation brush, a beauty blender, or your finger to blend it out. It's totally up to you. And as you've seen, I put a little bit on my eyes as well. Just so when I go to add on that eyeshadows, I still have a little bit of product on there, even though I'm going to add more. So now I'm just adding some product to my chin area and blending it out. Now move on to my forehead and blend that out. And it's totally up to you. You can add all the product on at once. I noticed when I added on it once, I don't like the way it blends out, so that's why I did it separate. Some setting powder and set that into place. And I know it don't look like I have setting powder on here, but it is. It's just a really bit, little bit. For me, I didn't need a lot. Now I'm 
just taking that same concealer, adding it to my eyelids and blending it out a little bit more. And now I'm taking that setting powder and putting it under my eye just in case I have any fallout with that glitter. And also put a little bit on my lids. Now I'm going in with this purple color and adding that to my crease area. And the purple is very pigmented, as you can see. And you want to make sure that you blend each color out thoroughly before moving on to your next color. Otherwise, it won't look as neat. Now I'm just taking this pink shade that's also in the palette and using that as a transition color. And you can always start with a transition color first. I like to switch back and forth but it's totally up to you. And again, with each shade, you do want to make sure that they both are blending in together so you don't have a harsh line, unless you want it that way. Totally up to you. Now it's time to cut my crease and I like to do it this way now because I find it easier for me considering I do wear glasses versus having my eye closed and trying to cut my crease. I can't really see because I don't wear contacts when doing my makeup. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my finger because, again, whenever I add eyeshadows onto my eyes when the concealer is wet, it doesn't go on right. Take that purple shade again just to make that area a little darker. Now I'm just going in with a little more purple to give it that smoky effect in the back. And since I'm going to be working with glitter, I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer to prime the rest of my lid. And I'm going to use a brush to blend that out. And if it happens to go a little bit over, that's okay because you always can fix it at the end. Now I'm going to take this bluish purplish glitter and add that to the middle of my eyelid and blend that out. And you can add as much as you want. For me, I just wanted it to show really well. So I added quite a bit. Now I'm just taking that dark purple shade and blending that with that glitter. Just so it won't be a harsh line. And now I'm going in with this pink glitter. And I'm also packing that on and also making a smooth... Um, transition
can add more product whenever it's needed i needed more glue so i'm adding more glue and i'm gonna blend that with my finger before adding any more glitter again just so it can have something to stick to Now I'm going to take this brush and just wipe away that setting powder and you will have some type of fallout of glitter just randomly sitting on your face. It is okay. Taking my NYX eyeliner and I'm starting as close to my lash line as I possibly can before expanding it out. Now I'm going to do my wing and I notice my wing never be the same on the opposite side. That's why I keep looking back and forth just to make sure that it's right. I'm just adding the same um, eyeliner to the bottom of my lashes. I never really add anything to the bottom of my lashes besides mascara but I want to try something new and I'm also adding I don't know what this is called I'm gonna call it a point at the front now I'm just putting on some mascara I could have added lashes, but I didn't have any in front of me at the moment and I didn't want to stop the video. And now I'm just adding my lip liner, which is my go-to lip liner by MAC. It's the Night Moth one. Just to outline my lips. And I like to make my lip liner a little bit thicker. And then blend it out. Now I'm just adding on some lip gloss. Now I'm just taking my powder brush and making sure that I blend all of that powder that was on my face away as much as I possibly can. And now I'm just adding on a little bit of highlight to my inner tear duct. And I noticed that I'm using a kind of pinkish highlight and it kind of blended with that glitter. I should have went in with a different color, but it's fine. Also, I it under my brow. To my cheekbone area. And I never really use this brush because it always seems to put a lot of product on the brush. Okay, and that's the end of this video. Hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did making it. And here's me just zooming in to show you how it look close up and far away. And also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all of my social medias. Thank you. Have a nice day.